United States Air Force is going to unveil its latest stealth aircraft which is called the B-21 Raider. This aircraft falls in the category of B-1, B-2 bombers. But then its role is much bigger. It is meant for conducting surveillance and reconnaissance, then long range strike and it will be capable of penetrating the toughest air defense system that any country has in this world for delivering precision air strikes. It has been designed to carry both nuclear as well as conventional weapons. And of course, the new B-21 Raider will differ in size, the number of engines and the payload capacity compared to its predecessor. The maximum speed of this aircraft, which has been listed on the company website, is around 600 miles per hour or more than 900 kilometers per hour. Although it is not confirmed whether the aircraft has two or four engines, the manufacturers of the engines, that is Pratt & Whitney, have used the F-135 engines, which is also used in the F-35 fighter jets. This aircraft is being built at a facility in Palmdale, California, and it is supposed to be operational by the early 2023. The estimated cost of this plane is around $2 billion, and it is expected to increase every year. It is a sixth generation aircraft that has breakthrough stealth technology, advanced networking capabilities, and open system architecture. Open system architecture will allow this aircraft to be compatible with various other components and technologies that are manufactured by outside vendors. In simple words, in future, this aircraft can be integrated with many other future technologies. It is manufactured by a company named Northrop Grumman and they have given a specific name to this military aircraft and they call it Digital Bomber. That means it is capable of using various technologies and cloud computing for faster and more flexible communication. It is also said that this B-21 bomber is designed to break through China's impregnable air defense system. So China has an anti-access area denial shield which consists of three layers of air, sea and land defense networks. This is considered to be world's best air defense shield. It is being said that this B-21 bomber is capable of breaking through China's three layers of defense shield and can destroy critical Chinese installations, command and control centers. It is also said that the B-21 bomber is fully equipped to carry missiles such as JASSM ER cruise missile, GBU-57 bunker destroying bomb and JDAM satellite guided bomb. That means United States Air Force can use this bomber to carry these missiles and bombs and drop it on Chinese targets and fly back. However, I've also said this in my previous video, China has anti-stealth YLC-8E radar. This radar can easily track the B-21 bomber. Usually if you see, the role of a bomber aircraft is to attack ground and naval targets by dropping air to ground bombs and missiles. Now personally, I'm not sure whether the B-21 bomber is capable of carrying air-to-air -air missile because putting air-to-air -air missile on a bomber would take a large investment and it would be less effective because bombers are not fighter aircrafts. They don't even fly at the speed of sound because of the heavy payload. Bombers carry a lot of bombs and missiles. So if at all the B-21 bomber is detected by China's anti-stealth YLC-8E radar, then China's J-20 most advanced stealth fighter jet can easily shoot down the American bomber. And suppose let's assume that the B-21 bomber is equipped with air-to-air -air missile or guns, even then a bomber cannot maneuver like a fighter jet. And by the way, China also has a stealth bomber which is still in developmental stage. It is called the Xi'an H-20. This is said to be China's answer to the American B-21 Raider. United States is going to launch the B-21 bomber on December 2nd, 2022. The H-20 bomber will be launched by China soon. I believe the Chinese bomber is ready, it is just a matter of choosing the right time to launch. Because as soon as the US government officially launched their B-21 bomber, Chinese military and designers are going to keep an eye on it. And they would like to study it, and then privately draw a comparison between the American bomber and the Chinese bomber. Based on that, if they want to upgrade or change anything, they will do that. And I also think that the US government is not going to reveal the whole actual aircraft. Now also if you look at the pictures and images of the B-21 bomber on the internet, it is all computer generated graphics. So let's see tomorrow that is on 2nd December, do we get to see the actual B-21 bomber? And then later on we may also get to see the Chinese H-20 bomber. I hope you find this video informative. Thank you for watching it.